How's it going everybody? This is Dan's Dev and today I'm going to show you how to deploy and provision Go applications using Docker machine. Let's go! I already prepared a little application that is essentially printing hello gopfer uh, to the page as soon as you opening and basically does nothing else. This is how the Docker files looks like. It's just taking Alpine image of Go and then builds the binary and exposes the port 8080. This is how the Docker Compose file looks like. There's only one service. There's nothing else. So it's super simple. I assume you already have experience with Docker and Docker Compose. So I will not spend much time talking about it. I'll just show you how it works. I'm going to build the application. Okay, cool. It's built. It's running. Let's check it out. Just to make sure, I'm gonna open another tab so it's not catched. Yeah, there we go. So we have AWS setup, and this is where we are going to deploy. So what I eventually want, I want this web service running on EC2 without using Jenkins, without using any other tool. I just want to use Docker machine today and have the exact same environment that I'm having here in my MacBook running on EC2. I was personally pretty excited when I first did it, so I hope you will like it. Okay, I have a command here that we're going to use. I will explain what it does in a sec. I'm just going to copy it. Okay, now I need to go to the directory where the project is. Okay, okay, we're here. Cool. Uh, so this command is going to create an instance on EC2, a Docker machine instance. Uh, in fact, it's going to be Ubuntu, but the Docker will be pre-installed on it. So conveniently, the guys from Docker created this driver, Amazon EC2, that is that allows us to specify a bunch of different variables like port to open and all the other uh, sweet things. So for us, we need to specify the port 8080 because this is the port that is used in our web service and the region. Uh, my region is US East 2. For you, it could be something else. So right now I'm going to create it. Okay, cool. There we go. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that what we've just created is actually there. Okay, yeah, it's here. So, right now, we're going to connect to this instance. This will look like a little bit of a magic, to be honest. Okay, we're running this magical command that switches to the virtual machine. So whatever we run in the terminal right now is actually going to be executed on a Docker engine in AC2. So let's just do this. Meanwhile, I'm going to copy this address. This is the public address of our instance. There we go, it's done. Oops. That's it. Our app is on AC2. It's up, running, and it's just, I just know, it's just exciting, guys. This is so fast. It, used to take so much time before and right now you can literally run a command on your terminal and there you go you have your whole app your whole composed app in the cloud that's it it took me like what three minutes i personally think this is exciting thanks for watching guys like the video uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and see you in the next episode bye